How's it going everyone? Idly Gaming here, and I'm so excited to bring you guys a video on this. This is absolutely awesome. I've played Daisy Mod since since it just almost first came out, and I miss the old version of it, and I have found a nostalgia server on 1.7.6.1. Um, I'm not the, the um, it's by uh, DZI, I believe, uh, Daisy uh, Impact, and um, I found this YouTube video on a guy that I'll leave his link in my in my uh, description because he's the reason I found this, and um, I'm not taking credit for this. But anyways, um, here we go under Daisy Mod. You uh, what what you, you want to install this off the store? Just type in Daisy. Whoop, type in Daisy Mod, and you'll end up with this. It's free. Download it. Um, you have to have Armor 2 and Armor 2 combined ops if you or, or uh, Armor 2 Operation Airhead if you didn't know that. So yeah. Um, so next, after you get all that installed, go ahead and launch up. Oops. Go ahead and launch up Steam and uh, click Properties. Go to Betas and change it from None to 1.7.6.1, .1. and that is the. Uh, old version that this server runs off of. So the next thing you want to do, click play, launch all that. Sorry guys, I had a bit of a glitch in my recording software, um, so I'm going to have to trim a little bit of that out. But once you launch up and everything, um, whoops, once you launch up and everything, uh, you want to go to multiplayer and go to remote and you want to enter in this IP. Um, I'll leave that in the description. And here we are, the Daisy Nostalgia 1.7.6.1. Um, I had recently spawned in, I spawned in, um, I had, I'm going to have to just kind of skip to where I was. I spawned in in Cherno, luckily, and I ran into this factory and found a toolbox and a hatchet and things like that. So, I'll uh, go ahead and launch up. Um, as you can see, there's not too many people on right now. They're trying to build a player base. So that's what this video is for. I'm wanting to get this video out there, and I want more and more people to start playing this. Because if you miss the old versions of DayZ, uh, early days of DayZ mod, come play this. This is, this is it, 1.7.6.1. Um, I mean, this is the actual, I mean, this is the real deal. As you can tell, the old HUD is back. All that stuff. Um, old gear system, everything about the old, uh, old mod is here. It's, it's the actual version. So, um, it's nighttime right now. I'll turn the game up just so you guys can see. I didn't want it to be annoying for you guys not be able to see what I'm looking at. But, um, it's kind of unfortunate that my recording software cut out like that. But, yeah. Um, this is just what I picked up so far. Uh, just some basic gear. All you spawn with is, uh, you just spawn with a flashlight, a bandage, and painkillers. This is what I found so far, so, uh, keep moving up this way. You can see there's quite a few animals. Server's just recently started up, so there's probably going to be a decent amount of gear around. Um, don't know if many people are around this area. See, I'll just run in and show you guys kind of what the gameplay looks like, what the loot looks like, and, uh, kind of, it's, it's a really smooth server. It's a European server. Um, I've, I've got like 115 ping on it, no problem. Uh, but what I didn't get to mention is some people have had a problem with uh, launching the... Whoa. Some people have had a problem with launching it through the uh, Daisy, for, through the Steam version of Daisy Mod. So um, I'll leave a link in the description to download the 1.7.6.1 uh, uh, mod version. You, I'll, 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 I'll probably leave that at the end, um, just how to install all that. So, here we are at the hospital. <laughs> what is that up there? Um, some fire. I'll just go ahead and break this glass. Um, see what we can find here. Uh, ooh, looks like some morphine. Uh, blood bag. Just gonna take one epi pin. Uh, ooh, medical crate. That means morphine. Take uh, take as much of this as we can get. That's really most useful. And uh, take some of those extra bandages. Um, if you're new to the mod, if you haven't really played it, um, zombies can't come in the hospital, which is a good thing, in my opinion. Um, so yeah, just grab, blood bags aren't too useful as this, antibiotic, uh, yeah. Blood bags aren't too useful if you're just playing alone like I am, because you can't do self-blood bag. Um, just as in the standalone, you can't do a self-saline. But yeah. So, uh, I'm pretty good on medical supplies now. I just kind of want to see, it looks like... I think it's just a barrel burning. I guess I'll just run down this road and go down to the fire station next. Um, it's just right down this way. 
Or it's, well, it's back up into town a little more. But... Oh, I actually got turned around. There it is. Okay, that's better. Sorry, sometimes I get confused in the dark. But, let's see what type of weapon we can find here. Um, last time I went in here, I uh, found it. Oh, what's this? Undervine. I thought there were like, I thought I saw some like benches around that, uh, around that oil barrel. I don't know. I thought it may have been a camp instead of just a... But I do like how they've got this uh, fire barrel burning. The zombies are actually a threat on here. Um, it's not like a lot of the newer versions. It's the zombies. You you gotta. You're you're gonna always be on the run. Um, you can outrun them, but yeah, it's pretty hard to outrun them unless you go up a hill or. And you can cut through bushes like this, and it kind of confuses them and slows them down like that, as you can see. But um, you know, nothing too. They're they're just not that easy to get away from. So we'll run into this fire station and see what we find. Um, it was just raining a minute ago. You can actually see the clouds. Oh, that's a pole. You can actually see the clouds, so yeah. <laughs> so I'm having some allergies. Uh, hopefully not many people have been in here. Which I doubt they have. Um, that looks like some food I could use. Oh, yeah. guess I'll just... Try to... Whoa. I'm so bad with this hatchet. One dead. Two, yeah, okay. You gotta get pretty close with them and they hit pretty rapidly. It's raining again outside, it looks like. Is it not? Oh yeah, now it's just started. Um, let's see what we have here. A PDW. With a mag. Works for me. At least we have a weapon. Um, gonna be some, yeah. Gonna be some up here. Nope, we'll go one more up. It doesn't look like there's much. But again, there is a day's night cycle on here, as you can easily tell. Um, which I think adds a lot to the game, just trying to kind of get safe before night. But um, I'll just run on down into the, uh, into the general store and see if I can find what I, I did notice when I was in a lecture before I did notice there's a uh, there's a lot of good a lot of food a lot of drinks that spawn in the general store it's not not too hard to come by if you're going in here <clears throat> but yeah guys if you're interested we need to build a player base on this because if you if you miss the old early days of the mod this is this is it right here, so highly recommend this. Because once we gain a lot more people on, get some more, more and more people, I think it'll be absolutely awesome. Let's see here. Gotta watch. See what time it is. And it is 11:07. So that's good. Oh, is that a... Ah, oh, it's a Lee Enfield. No, I didn't want to drop my hatchet. Oh, well. I can put it away. Oh, that is Skype. Apologize for that. Sorry, I had to close out Skype. Apologize for that. Yeah, it looks like we got us a Lee Enfield and... I mean, as I said, there's tons of stuff in here, tons of food, um, not really much else I'd, I need, I need to get more of these Cokes, um, but I'm looking for a map, this might be a map here, ooh, that's a map, binoculars, and another flashlight and some more Cokes, I'm gonna go ahead and drink, I'm gonna go ahead and eat one of the plants of beans, take a Coke. So yeah, now that you've just kind of seen how this, like, what this is, I mean, this is this is just the original Vanilla Daisy right here. This is what you saw Frankie playing back in 2013. This is the original Daisy mod. So I mean, I just completely, highly, highly recommend you guys grabbing this, checking this out. 
Um, I'll leave all the links for it in the description, and um, now I'll just show you guys how to um, how to install it without the Steam uh, Steam version. So basically, to install it without using the uh, Steam thing, if that doesn't work, um, which for a lot of people it hasn't been, uh, you just, instead of using that, what you do is you install the at server 1.7.6.1 full dot rar. You install that, and um, you'll end up finding, you'll end up having a zip file for it. And you'll just go into computer, and um, go into your Steam, uh, Steam library. Go under Steam Maps, go to Common, go to Armor 2 Operation Arrowhead, completely delete your original DayZ um, at DayZ file, or, or I, I'd recommend copying it and pasting it into a different location just to back it up, like some, paste it into like your other hard drives or whatever, and then um, and then copying and pasting the new DayZ at DayZ fo folder that you end up installing from this website, and um, out of that you just paste it into here after you've deleted that, and that should clear up any problems you might have. So I'd recommend trying uh, this version out first because it's a lot easier, and if that doesn't work, just end up, just do that. So yeah guys, if you enjoyed this in any way, uh, please comment, like, subscribe. Um, I, I hope you guys enjoy this mod. Um, if you're, if you're, I, I encourage every single one of you to play this because building a player base on this would be so awesome, guys. Anyways, I'm Islet Gamer. 